Welcome to Cheap Cheese. Today, we invite you on a journey into the world of protein powder, a product beloved by health enthusiasts, athletes, and everyday people everywhere. Let's kick things off by exploring the global consumption of protein powder. This is a thriving market, with countries like the United States, China, and Germany at the forefront. The United States secures the top spot, driven by its fitness and wellness culture. China is a close second, a result of its emerging middle class and increasing health consciousness. Germany, renowned for its passion for sports and athletics, is also a significant player. Among the types of protein powder, a few stand out. Whey protein, a byproduct of milk, is cherished for its high protein content and easy digestibility. Soy protein derived from plants is a hit with those adhering to a vegan or vegetarian diet. Pea protein is another plant-based contender gaining popularity for its hypoallergenic properties and high protein content. But where is all this protein powder produced? Major manufacturers include, unsurprisingly, the United States and China. These countries have the necessary infrastructure, technology, and resources to produce vast amounts of protein powder satisfying global demand. Yet the pricing of protein powder varies significantly. Some are as affordable as a cup of coffee, while others might set you back the cost of a lavish meal. What causes this price disparity? Is it merely brand perception or are there tangible differences in quality and ingredients? Now that we've laid the groundwork, time to delve deep into the realm of protein powders, from the budget-friendly to the premium. Stay with us as we unravel the mysteries behind the price tag, the manufacturing process, and the potential health impacts. And remember, hit that subscribe button for more insightful facts and revelations. Ever wondered why some protein powders seem to cost as much as a small island, while others are as cheap as chips? You're not alone. This protein powder price puzzle has left many scratching their heads. Let's dive into the numbers. The price of protein powder can vary dramatically, from a bargain bin price of around $10 per pound for the cheapest options, to a jaw-dropping $100 per pound for the most premium brands. That's a tenfold difference. Now what's behind this wide price range? Well, several factors come into play here. First off, the quality of ingredients. More expensive proteins often boast high-quality ingredients sourced from places like grass-fed cows or free-range chickens. These ingredients are not just about the protein, mind you. They also include a host of additional nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and digestive enzymes, which are often missing in cheaper alternatives. Next, we have the manufacturing process. Premium protein powders often go through a more meticulous process of extraction and purification, which ensures the maximum amount of protein is retained, while unwanted elements like fats and carbs are minimized. This process is more time-consuming and costly, hence the heftier price tag, then there's the brand reputation. Brands that have been in the game for a long time, or those endorsed by celebrities or professional athletes, often justify their higher prices by leveraging their reputation and the perceived quality of their products. And let's not forget about the marketing and packaging. A shiny tub with a muscular athlete on the front and a list of scientific claims on the back doesn't come cheap. These costs are often passed on to you, the consumer. So, you see, the price of protein powder isn't just about what's inside the tub, it's also about what's happening behind the scenes, but does a higher price tag necessarily equate to better quality? Let's find out. Cheap protein powder. It's light on the wallet, but what goes into making it? Well, let's dive right into the process. The manufacturing of cheap protein powder begins with the sourcing of raw materials, often derived from lower quality sources. These could be from plants or animals, but they're typically not the cream of the crop. You see, to keep costs down, manufacturers may use sources like soy or lower-grade whey that are cheaper, but also contain less protein per gram. These raw materials are then processed to extract the protein. This process can vary but often involves heat treatment or chemical extraction, both of which are cost-effective methods. However, these processes can denature the proteins, reducing their nutritional value. Not exactly what you want in your post-workout shake, right? Once the protein has been extracted, it's then dried and ground into a fine powder. This stage of the process is pretty much the same across the board, whether we're talking cheap or pricey protein powder. But here's where things get interesting. To make the protein powder more palatable, manufacturers often add artificial flavors, sweeteners, and fillers. These additions are cheaper to use than natural alternatives, but they come with their own set of drawbacks. Artificial sweeteners, for example, can lead to digestive issues, while fillers can dilute the protein content. So you might be getting less protein than you bargained for. And what about potential negative impacts on health? 
Well, the lower quality ingredients, the denatured proteins, and the artificial additives could all potentially have adverse effects. There's also the risk of contamination during the manufacturing process, as cheaper production methods might not have the same rigorous standards of hygiene or quality control. So, cheap protein powder might not be the best option for those who value their health above all. But what about the expensive stuff? Stay tuned, we're about to delve into the world of high-end protein powder. Now let's jump to the other end of the spectrum. What goes into making premium protein powder? In contrast to its more affordable counterpart, the making of high-end protein powder is a meticulous process, centered around the principle of quality over quantity. The journey begins with selecting the finest ingredients. The protein source is critical, often derived from natural and organic sources such as grass-fed whey or plant-based options like brown rice or pea protein. These sources are free from hormones, antibiotics, and pesticides, promoting a cleaner nutritional profile. Next up, the extraction process. Unlike cheap protein powders, which often use heat or acid-based extraction, premium powders opt for cold press extraction. This method preserves the integrity of the protein, maintaining its nutritional value, and resulting in a product that is smoother and easier to digest. The ingredient list doesn't stop at protein. Many high-end powders incorporate a blend of vitamins, minerals, and other beneficial extras such as probiotics, digestive enzymes, and superfoods. These additions turn an already healthful product into a nutritional powerhouse, supporting everything from gut health to immune function. Now let's talk manufacturing. Expensive protein powders are typically produced in smaller batches, allowing for more rigorous quality control. Each batch is tested for purity and potency, ensuring that what's on the label is exactly what's in the bottle. The final touch is the packaging. Premium protein powders often come in eco-friendly containers, further reinforcing their commitment to health. Not just for the consumer, but for the planet, too. All these factors contribute to the higher price tag of premium protein powders. But what about the health benefits? Well, the use of high-quality ingredients and careful manufacturing methods can lead to better digestibility, increased nutrient absorption, and a lower risk of unwanted side effects. So it seems that when it comes to protein powder, you really do get what you pay for. And while the initial investment might be higher, the potential health benefits could make it worth every penny. After all, isn't your health worth investing in? So, we've learned a lot about protein powder today from how it's made to how it's priced. Let's take a moment to recap. We've seen that protein powder is a global phenomenon, with countries like the United States, Australia, and the United Kingdom leading the way in consumption. We've also discovered that whey protein is the most popular type, with plant-based proteins like soy and pea gaining traction. The manufacturing process of protein powders varies significantly, and so does the price tag. Cheap protein powders are often mass-produced using less expensive ingredients and simpler techniques. On the other hand, costly protein powders involve more complex manufacturing processes and high-quality ingredients, which contributes to their higher price. But here's the real kicker. The difference in cost doesn't always equate to a difference in nutritional value. In many cases, you're paying for the brand, the packaging, and the marketing, not necessarily a superior product. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Can consuming cheap protein powders have a negative impact on your health? Well, it's not a simple yes or no answer. Some less expensive powders may contain artificial additives, sweeteners, and other questionable ingredients that could potentially cause health concerns over time. But remember, not all cheap protein powders are created equal, and the same goes for the expensive ones. The bottom line? Do your research. Understand what you're putting into your body. Look beyond the price tag and the flashy packaging. Check the ingredients, the manufacturing process, and the company behind the product. And most importantly, listen to your body. It's the best judge of what works for you and what doesn't. Thanks for joining us on this protein pack journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting facts. Remember, knowledge doesn't have to come with a high price tag.